Hello and welcome back to the Strawberries and Cream Blanket. Today we are looking at section three, which you can see here, and it's using three colours to create kind of a plaid kind of stitch. Um, and then we follow that with our intersection part. And if you've missed sections two and sections one, then just pop back and find those videos and then we'll see you back here for section three. If you haven't met me before, I'm Hannah from Hand and Crochet and I'm delighted to meet you and work on this blanket with you. We are running a crochet along in July 2022, but if it's not that time anymore, then please don't worry. I'll put links in the description for where you can find the free version of the pattern, where you can purchase a PDF to download, and where you can also purchase the entire thing as a course. So have a little look down below, see which option suits you best, and let's get going. So now we are ready to work section three of our blanket, which is this one that you see here. And it's my take on a plaid stitch, but as you see, again, there are no gaps. Um, we work over the top like we did with section one and into two rows below. So we work over the top of our chains that you can see here, which means that we only use one color per row again. So it's nice and straightforward. Each of the rows are really easy and simple to do, but it does mean that you have ends. Whereas our last section, section two, we carried our yarn through our work. So we only had ends at the very beginning and at the end of that section. Um, but this, this section is really lovely for a more delicate and fine kind of plaid stitch, as it were, or plaid. People say it in lots of different ways. So it's kind of a gim gingham type plaid. Um, there is a definition between the two. Um, and I think gingham is a type of plaid, plaid pattern. Um, but don't quote me on that one. I should look that one up and let you know later on in the course. Um, so let's go for it and let's work section three together. For this, you are going to need yarns um, G, H and A. So these three colours that we have here, and we're going to use them in exactly the same sequence as you see, one, two and three, one, two, three, one, two, three, all the way up until we get to the top of our section. So I've worked the intersection pattern here and I've finished, but I haven't completed this last stitch, but I've broken my yarn ready because I know I'm going to be changing color. And we're going to be joining yarn H, which is this brighter yellow here for me. So join yarn H there, and then we're ready to turn and work our first row of section three. And what we're going to do here is we're going to chain one and then we're going to work a UK half treble or US half double crochet into the first three stitches. So one, two and three. Remembering that this is a little trickier um, when we're working into the intersection. So make sure you don't skip any of the chains here. Make sure you end up with the same amount of stitches as you started off on that row. And then what we're going to do is we're going to chain three we're going to skip three, so one, two, and three, and then we're going to work three stitches. So using those half treble stitches, again, we do it in threes. Now, you remember that the intersection pattern comes in sets of threes anyway, so actually it's fairly easy to find where you are, but do just check once you've done your three that you're still in line and you've still got your three in between. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna carry on repeating that, so chain three, skip one, two, and three, and then work in three. And you're gonna do that until you get to the last six stitches of this row. So one, two, and three, skip one, two, and three, and then work in three. And one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we're ready to work our stitches here. And once you get to the last six, because it looks like nine, but it's six, because what we're going to do is skip one, two, and three, and then that leaves us one, two, three, four, five, and six for the end of the row. And you're going to work a stitch in each of those six. So we skip one, two, and three, and then we work in the remaining six 
of this row. And then as always, we're changing at the end of the row. So we're going to break our yarn and then you'll get your next color ready, which is yarn G. So we join yarn G here and we turn ready to work the next row. So the row that we just worked, row 42 in the pattern, is like a setup row. So you won't work that same um, pattern again, that same row again. So we now need to do a slightly different version. We're going to chain one, and then we're going to half treble in UK terms in the next three. So it's a half double crochet in UK, US terms, sorry. And then we're going to chain three. And then we're going to skip three. And this is what's going to give us that kind of um, like checkerboard effect because we're going to, we're not going to work into these and we're going to create a space above them to work the next row into. Because now what we're going to do, if you remember down on our, our closed granny block stitch, we worked over the top of the stitches and into two rows below. So that's exactly what we're going to do now. We're going to skip these three stitches here and then we're going to work a UK treble, so that's a US double crochet, into the next three, but in two rows below. So we're going to go down into this row here. So you're going to encase those chains just like we did with the granny block stitch, and you're going to go over the top there and work that long treble stitch that we have for UK terms. So then we're going to do that in the next stitch, and in the next stitch. So in three stitches to cover over that chain three. There we go. And then we're going to chain three. And then we're going to skip three. And then we're going to work over the top of that chain and into the row below for the next three stitches. And that's pretty much all we need for this row. Chain three, skip three, and then work three. And we're going to repeat that up until the last three stitches of the row now. come to the last three stitches and what we're going to do is just pop a UK half treble in each of those and then again we're going to change colour at the end of the row so break your yarn and then get your next colour which for this one is yarn A and we're going to join and turn ready to work row 44 this must be now so 44 is just a repeat of row 43 that we've just done, but in our new color. So we chain one and we work in first three. They get a half treble in them, a UK half treble. And then we're going to chain three. And we're going to skip three, which is nice and easy to see. And then we're going to work into the next three, two rows below. So encasing this chain that we've made here, that's just to create us the space. That's all that one's there for. And we're going to work in one, two, and three. Working a UK treble stitch or US double crochet stitch in each of those. And then we carry on up until the last three doing exactly the same. And now the thing, my top tips for this row would be when you're working these stitches, because if you were working um, into the row below, they wouldn't seem quite so long. You wouldn't have to pull them up quite so high. 
But what I would do is just make sure that you're happy with the angle of your hook, first of all, that it will bring it to the height. So you see I'm pulling it up to meet the height. It's very tempting to angle down and that will only make your um, stitches shorter. And as you go along the row, you'll find that they'll get shorter and shorter and shorter. So don't be tempted to do that. Give them some space and let them stand up to the height of the row that you already have. That's the best thing to do there. And now here we are at the last three and we're going to work a UK half treble in the last three there. And we'll be ready to change our colour of yarn at the end of the row. And we're going back to the brighter yellow colour because we're going to work in that sequence of one, two, three in these colours. And then the rest of this section up until the last row of the section is really simple because it is just a repeat of that exact same row. So row 43, you work that up until row 55 in that color sequence. So you will end on a bright yellow color, I want to say. Yeah, you will, I've just checked. You'll end on a bright yellow and, um, or whatever color your bright yellow is in your sequence of colors. Um, and then you'll be ready to work row 55 with me, which is the last row of this section, um, because you might be thinking ahead and think, actually, you don't want to your last row. You don't want to create these gaps. So what we're going to do is work slightly differently and fill in those gaps for want of a better way of saying it. So if you want to go ahead and work that row repeat of row 43, repeat it as per the pattern up until row 54, the end of 54 and we'll work row 55 together. So now here we are at the end of row 54, and now we're going to join yarn G, and we're going to turn and work row 55, which remember I said was slightly different to the repeat that we have been doing, but not terribly so, so don't worry. We're going to chain one and begin our row with a half treble, a UK half treble in six stitches. So we're not going to create any chains or chain spaces um, or skip any stitches for this row. The idea is to close up all of the gaps that we have. And then we're ready to work down over the top of these chains just as we had before. We're going to work a UK treble stitch or US double crochet stitch down two rows below. And you'll be really well practiced at this by now. And just make sure they come up again to the height of the row that you've set there with your half treble stitches. And then we come across here where we would normally have a repeat of our row would have normally chained three and skip these three. We're not going to skip them. We're going to pop a half treble, a UK half treble or a US half double crochet in the three of those there. And then you're just gonna carry on like that. If you've got a chain to work over the top, you work the longer stitch down into two rows below. And then if you have a stitch um, coming at you from the row below, for want of a better way of saying it, then you work a shorter half treble stitch into them. And we just close up all the gaps as we work along. I know that I am flip-flopping about between, um, I'm trying my very best to get the terminology right in UK and US terms because I know that it's so confusing and people feel much more comfortable with one or the other. Um, so I've, I've given you the choice. In the pattern, as I say, it's written out in both versions. Um, and obviously here I'm doing my best to give you either option so that it's, um, it's more comfortable for you with whatever you like to use. And then we get to the last three and we're going to work a UK half treble, a US half double crochet in those last three. And then you'll be ready for your intersection panel. Um, and it will be the two rows that we repeated um, in between the last two sections. And you'll be changing to yarn A. And so if you go ahead and work those two rows and then we'll be ready for section four.